Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of The Finishing Blow. Hopefully you guys are having a good Thanksgiving weekend this week. Let me go ahead and start off with some of the biggest news that probably came out this week, which was Tony Jaa and Stephen Fung are no longer going to be attached to the Kickboxer remake. Now this is huge because a lot of people are going to be watching this movie specifically for Tony, and it sounds like he actually had to step down because of scheduling issues. They changed the filming schedule and he has to do a different film in that time. So it's not really the fact that he didn't want to do the film anymore. It was just the the issue of scheduling and things like that. Stephen Fung, I'm not sure why he stepped down. He was going to be the director for the film. It was going to be his first Hollywood film. Now we have the director for uh, In the Blood directing the film instead, which I did enjoy In the Blood, but I just don't know if it's going to have that same feel, that same effect that Stephen Fung would have given it. So it's really interesting to see how everything's unfolding. A lot of people are just, you know, sirens and red flags all over the place. I still feel like we've got the lead character character nailed and as long as he can carry the film that's really what's going to matter if the action's good you know if the if the character is likable things like that so there's still hope for the remake but it is kind of concerning to see so many people stepping down or jumping ship from this film but as you guys know i will let you know as soon as i find out more about this information and uh hopefully we'll have some more information real soon about what's going to happen with the kickboxer remake and if it's going to have to be delayed because directors are changing and things like that all right Moving forward, we also had some information this week with still Buster Stallone talking about The Expendables 4. It sounds like he wants it to happen, um, but it also sounds like he realizes the big, big mistake they made when they made Expendables 3 PG-13. It was a huge error, and they are going back to their R-rated roots. He also alluded to the fact that the Expendables are not invincible, and some of them may be killed off in upcoming films, which, again, only is going to happen if they do a fourth film. It's really going to depend on the investors, if they have faith in the franchise, how much they're going to cre or credit or, uh, I guess, accuse... Uh, pirating the film to be linked to their box office uh, losses and things like that. I feel like The Expendables could be a good franchise if they do just go back to their roots. It's, it's become so big and so ridiculous with so many names attached to it now. You look at the cover for The Expendables 3 and it's just names. Like it's not even, I don't even think it's first and last names. I think it's literally just last names of everybody and it's just ridiculous. So if they scale it back down, maybe to like the original crew and some of the new members, you know, I loved Antonio Banderas in the third one you know just keep characters like that in there um, and then re regain that chemistry and not make it so over the top I feel like this movie would have a better chance of becoming successful and being the franchise that everyone knows it can be everyone knows it could be a great franchise it's just kind of shooting itself in its own foot so if Expendables 4 does happen expect it to be R-rated and I really hope that they just embrace that a hundred percent of the way I know that I'm not a person who really cares about blood and gore that much but if they just kind of did that I feel like that would reestablish faith in their fan base and just say yes we are back and this is what we're gonna do so anyways Expendables 4 fingers crossed that that happens let me know in the comments if you guys think it will or not or even if they should make a 4 anyways or if they just let it die off who knows at this point whether they should just stop on a strong point or just let it let it happen who uh, I'm not sure all right Moving forward, we actually had a new trailer for Golden Cane Warrior, which, if you guys remember, is an Indonesian film, and it looks fantastic. I love the fact that it's going completely the opposite of the raid. You know, it's not a raid like Me Too movie. It's its own thing. It's probably been in production for years by now. Um, the wire work looks great. The action looks good. The story should be strong because it's based off of a popular Indonesian comic. So it's all there. All the pieces are in place, and I'm really hoping that it's going to be a good strong film um i love seeing other countries kind of show off their skills and talents and golden king warrior looks like it's going to deliver on that um not too sure if we're going to be getting another trailer before it releases because it comes out next month if i'm right i think i'm right <laughs> i hope i'm right i think it comes out next month but don't quote me on that and so um i'm not sure if we'll get another trailer or not but hopefully it does get an international release because i would love to pick up this film and do a review for you guys and let you know how it is and if it's worth your time and money or not all right, so next up, we also had a promo for a film called Malik, I believe. It's an Iranian film, and it's really, really interesting because it just came out of left field. Like, nobody knew about it, but um, the lead person in the film, uh, Ramin, I think is how you pronounce it, Ramin, um, he made a promo for this film, like a teaser almost, and it's done pretty well. The only issues I had with it were, like, the overuse of uh, slow-mo 
Not as bad as High Kick Girl, but still kind of bad. Every time he jumped into the air, you feel like time slowed down. And it seemed kind of ridiculous by the fourth or fifth time it happens. But I'm hoping they tailor that down a little bit in the actual feature film. This is just kind of the show off Ramin's skills and abilities and for that i think it did a really good job but they're trying to get you know people uh supportive of it i don't know if i have a video link going right now because it was on vimeo i believe and i don't know how you can really embed those if it's on youtube i'll try to put a link um or a video up there ish but if not then um i'll leave a link in the description you can go to the original article that i wrote and you can watch it on there Okay, moving onwards, we have some really, really weird news. Jackie Chan and Stanley Tong are going to be pairing up for a film called Kung Fu Yoga. Now, apparently this is a partnership between um, China and India, and they're going to be doing multiple films together, and this is one of those first films that they're doing. Obviously, given the title, I think it's going to be a comedy film, but who knows, with Donnie Yen, you got Noodle Man, so it may not even be a comedy film. But from what I seem to grasp from this it's going to be jackie and stanley they haven't worked together since the myth which you know it was i did a review for it last week and it was an okay film but i feel like they could really do something special here if they have the right people in place now jackie is currently finishing skip trace so it's going to be a little bit before we learn more about kung fu yoga but it should be a good film as long as they keep their focus on the action and the comedy. Now, it, what's going to be really interesting about this is the fact that the sense are partnering with India, they're going to have other Indian actors and actresses in the film with them. So, I don't know. I don't know what to expect of this. You know, you really can't say too much with the key players and the title itself, but let me know if you guys are excited about it. If you want to know more about it, of course, I will let you guys know, good or bad, what's going to happen with Kung Fu Yoga. And rounding out the week with news on Thanksgiving Day, we had some images of Lady Bloodfight. Amy is training right now, and it looks really, really cool. Uh, Bay Logan shared some photos on his Facebook, and it looks like everybody's having a good time. I can't wait to see more of this. Um, it's going to be a while since, obviously, they're still rehearsing and things like that. But the, the, the production process is moving forward. And I think that sh they should be starting filming here soon. Don't quote me on that. But I think they should be starting filming here soon. So we'll be looking forward to that because Amy is super, super talented. If you haven't seen any of her stuff, check out um, a lot of her videos uh, are done with Thousand Pounds Action Company. So be sure to give them a look. Um, if you guys don't know who they are, they've done an awesome um, video game and anime, anime homage videos. So be sure to give those a look too. But yes, Amy is super talented and I would love to see her star in her own film and take the lead. I think it would be fantastic. All right, and lastly, I did a review for The Transporter. Now, I know that these past couple weeks I've been doing reviews for older films. Last week, I really just wanted to watch The Myth. This week, um, it's Black Friday week for those of you that are in the US, and you know how crazy it is. I actually have to work retail, and so it's been ridiculous, and I had to think of a film that I wanted to watch that I could watch in English because my phone, as far as I know, unless you guys know how to do like soft coded subtitles, I can't, I can't watch anything um, that's subbed. Like I can't rip it from a DVD or anything like that that I have or that I get and watch it. So I wanted to watch something in English that I could just pop in and enjoy. And um, Five Dash Productions did mention that he enjoyed The Transporter too. So I figured, hey, why not watch the original again and see how it stands up to the test of time. So I did a review for that, but I wanted to kind of go off on a little bit of a tangent. I'm sorry if this video gets a little bit long because of it, but I just want to take a moment and really thank you guys. I know I do this from time to time, but it's Thanksgiving and I just want to say thank you guys for the community that you've created with the channel and with the website itself and on Facebook. It's just, I don't know. I want to say it's ridiculous because I feel like I, I never thought that and so many people would come and group together over something like this. And it really, really touches me. And I'm really appreciative of it. I, right now, because of the holiday season and what I'm doing with my job and things like that, I won't be able to do as much as I would like. I will definitely do one article a day. But even when I'm filming this, I know that there's been other trailers and stuff that have been coming out over the, over the uh, past day or so. And I will do my best tomorrow to get back on track and cover everything for you guys because it's just been crazy. I was working until like 2 a.m. yesterday and then get up and I got to go do it again. So I don't want to sound too ranty or whiny or anything like that. I really do appreciate you guys. I'm hoping when 
the new year kicks off, I'll be able to give you guys a lot more content, but I wanted to do something different for the finishing blow. So Five Dice actually suggested this and I wanted to save it for a different segment, but given how the time crunch is and stuff and how you guys have been following the finishing blow, I want to ask you guys a question. What do you guys think is like your favorite almost guilty pleasure movie you know if you're if you're working a long day and you just want to unwind and you pop in a movie and that is your go-to movie what is it what is what is the movie you like to watch and unwind with even if it's good or bad personally this is going to sound really bad and stupid but when i have like a really crazy day and i just want something just you know to just shut off with I'll watch the uh, original Mortal Kombat film, which it's bad, but it's so good because it's bad and I enjoy watching it. And, you know, there's other films like Police Story and stuff that I'll go to, but if I just want something cheesy and good, I'll go to Mortal Kombat. So let me know in the comments what you guys enjoy watching when you have a stressful day and you just need to unwind. What movie do you pop in? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for the support. I really do appreciate it. I feel like I'm getting ranty and rambly, so I'm going to cut this video here. But thank you guys for watching everything. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish this year strong and start next year even better, stronger, and just bigger than ever. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is Kay Miller, and this week, it's been finished.